Now, I'd call a cap on this review, but he has almost 400 hours on this game to date. And the crazy thing is, in the last two weeks, he played the game. I think this is your reality, dude. This is a cry for help. Just because you and I love Elden Ring does not mean that everybody else does. Some people love leaving bad reviews for good games. And I love poking fun at them. So today, we're going to be looking at some bad reviews of Elden Ring. Roll tape. So Wally says, I had to vote it down because Bandai decided to increase the prices of all their games in poor countries by six times the normal rate. Now the game costs in my country more than a 10 days average wage. What a shame. Now, the first thing I gotta say is, did they increase the price of Elden Ring in poor countries? Or a poor country, as in yours, wherever you're from? I don't know where he's from. I don't know where exactly he's talking about, but it sucks to hear that he does have to pay more. I'm just curious to see, did they actually increase the price on this game just for his country or others? because he's saying countries. Also, uh, I'm curious if this was Bandai's choice or maybe there's some type of tariff. You know, there's like trading wars going on in you know, China and all that other shit. Maybe it was a tariff. Maybe it wasn't actually Bandai or uh, Firm Software that wanted to increase this. I don't know. Maybe some people can give me some type of insight. People from outside of the US, outside of the UK or like Australia, some wherever he considers to be a poor country. Does anybody have any insight on why they're increasing the price? Because I'm not going to lie. It would piss me off too if I had to pay six times more than the average just to get my ass beat. Like, imagine paying six times $60 just to fight millennia. <sighs> I, I'm not even mad at this review. <laughs> so the next comment comes from Macy and they go on to say, can't romance Margaret? This game is unplayable. And you know, the funny thing about this review is I think that they're not capping because uh, they only have 22 hours on record. So they definitely did not beat this game. It took me like 135 hours to beat Elden Ring. The fact he's only got 20, 20, 20, 20, 22. No, it's 2023. 20, I could talk. <laughs> the fact that he only has 22 hours on the game, I think they're not lying. They're not trolling when they said that they're upset they can't romance Margaret. For those of you unaware of the person that this person wants to fuck, Margaret is the first major boss, the wall that you run into. And this man is literally a wall because he's like a hundred foot demon with a big stick, a big hundred foot pole that, uh, like you remember the um the power pole that uh, Goku used to use in Dragon Ball in like the early days of Dragon Ball Z when they would like extend out. Imagine that going up your ass. That's what Macy wants for Margaret. <laughs> And a little, <laughs> once his nipple sliced off by the light beam knife too. <laughs> Hell nah, bro. Hell nah. So Draxion Ray says that the seamless co-op mod is what this game should have inside of it. Instead, the co-op part of this game is horrible for such a great game. I had to quit and go play seamless co-op just to play normally with my brother. If you're looking to play with a friend, do it through that because I'm not going to lie. This is a crazy run on sins. The gist of what you said. <laughs> the gist of what the gist is. Oh my God, I can't talk. That's not a word. The gist of what he's saying is he's upset at the built-in co-op feature because for those unaware Elden Ring does have co-op the built-in co-op for this game he was not satisfied with it he, he's upset that he had to mod the game in order to get a fun co-op experience and you know what I'm gonna give this comment a thumbs up I'm not upset with this negative review for the simple fact that I agree with them uh the co-op in this game is pretty ass in order to do it you have to get like this demon finger and then it allows you to summon your friend in uh, I forgot how to get the damn finger or whatever or that's how you evade games it, it, it's something like that it should just be able to drop in drop out co-op I don't know why some companies make it very hard for you to play with friends but if they promoted the game having co-op and then they make it super difficult to get in i can understand his frustration if that's the sole reason he bought the game so i'm not upset with this review especially because it looks like he actually gave the game a chance with 88 hours on it but he was just like nah i'm tired of this man and i shouldn't have to mod the game i'm not upset with this one i wanted to highlight this comment because i just thought it was funny so at the top of the review he says just to lay down my bona fides since every negative review here is instantly spammed with get good or some cringe 2011 type beat just know I've 100% every Dark Souls game. I've done speed runs, challenge runs, the whole lot. When I call Elden Things and Elden Ring hard, it's not for a lack of experience. Then he goes on to write a whole novel. As you can see, chapter one, chapter two, chapter two, goddamn many. I'm not going to read all this. I just thought it was funny that he started. Well, just so you know, <laughs> I mean, every goddamn Dark Souls game. Then you scroll down, people just tell them, I didn't read a word of this shit. Get good. <laughs> hey, yo, I'm not going to lie. I don't have a lot of experience with Dark Souls games, but uh, I beat Elder Rings, so I'm kind of in there, but get good, dog. <laughs> This comment is crazy from Modest Ben. He goes on to say, after 170 hours, a hacker invaded my world. I didn't even know Elden Ring had hackers. He invades my world and he puts my account in a permanent death loop. Goodbye, 170 hours a 
of progress. And then later, I guess he goes on to say, update after patch 1.03.2, my character is still stuck in the loop. After contacting support, the answer I got was sadly, I can't guarantee this will resolve through a patch or an update. I recommend you create a new character if you wish to play the game. So pretty much pound sand to everyone affected. Basically, customer support told him go fuck himself. I'm not even mad at this review. A hacker invaded his game and completely ruined it. I will say though, at this point in which he wrote this review, he had 170 hours. Uh, keep in mind, it took me 135 hours to beat the game. You got 170 hours on the game. How many more hours do you need before you can beat it? And it says he actually has 195 on record, three in the last two weeks. So he's doing all this bitching in his review, but we're gonna call cap on this review because he dropped this review back in March of 2022, but it says he has three hours on the game in the last two weeks. So he's played it recently. He was talking like he was gonna quit. Like he was done with From Software, but we're gonna have to call cap on this review. <laughs> Raul says, why are you even looking at the negative reviews? Just buy it. It's game of the year. I, I agree. It was game of the year 2022. But why do you leave a negative review? I mean, I'm I, you want an explanation? I'm looking at the reviews because I'm looking for some content, baby. I bet you didn't predict that. No, nah, but that ass, why'd you leave a negative review? I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> now, this is why it's important to actually read reviews and not just look at the fact that somebody rated it negative. So Pensive Batman says, as an avid Soulsborne player, I really tried to give this game my all. I wanted to like it so so badly, but I couldn't bring myself to even complete a second playthrough. So this is where the part of the review where uh, I just stopped reading and he writes a novel too. See, chapter one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, over 9,000. Um, <laughs> I stopped reading after this point because this man said I can't bring myself to get do a second playthrough, but you, you beat the game. Like it wasn't that bad. I, I and, and you still gave it a night. I don't know. Like I don't, I don't rate a game as being bad because I don't want to do a second playthrough. Maybe you didn't enjoy it as much as you thought you would, but to say, oh, this game is horrible because I didn't want to play through it a second time you know how many games i didn't play through as a second time and they still were good it was fun to be had here maybe it just didn't live up to the hype that you thought it would but i i, I don't agree with that statement i don't recommend it because i didn't want to play through it a second time it was fun enough for you to beat it the first time like yeah that's why i think uh i think steam needs to implement something in between like positive negative like maybe like a indifferent button eh, it's all right. like it's all right, button. It's all right. <laughs> nfbf is upset because he got called bitchless and then kys says Seems like a great game to me. Yeah, uh, getting called bitchless, I can't relate, but. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this whole review is maidenless behavior. You, you gotta play the game to get it. It's, it's a good side joke. The Grim Reaper says, only if there was an objective or some kind of guidance to show you how to even play the game and not have three bosses at the start and tons of enemies that two shot you the second you literally spawn firstly and then I would play. God, what is these run on sentences on Steam? Firstly, and then I would play this game, but no, I don't know where to go. No guides, no nothing. Spent 40 minutes just being killed and walking around trying to find some kind of objective. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you, uh, Grim Reaper. Grim Reaper, is this a Slim Reaper, Kevin Durant? What, um, I don't know, could be him. He, he's not in the playoffs anymore. He's probably playing games. Yeah, this sounds like a skill issue. I'm not gonna lie. This sounds like get good. Uh, you only have eight hours on record. You didn't bother to actually play anything. My question is, how did you end up fighting three bosses in the first eight hours. I think it took me like 10, 15 hours before I actually fought Margaret. Just because like I actually grinded the area and I leveled up my character. It sounds like he didn't really bother to level anything up and just tried to fight everything he saw and then got butt hurt because of it. That's what streams are for, content creators. That's what your friends are for. Call them up, ask them how to play the game. But yeah, you know, sounds like you gotta get good, my boy. But I don't think he's gonna get good. Product refunded. <laughs> Mage Warren says, inappropriate activity detected. I'm gonna assume that's what it popped up on his game while he was playing. I guess I shouldn't have installed Squint's uh, small patch version 1.0.5 from the unreliable website, scrolls up store.steampower.com. My bad, I guess. I guess what he's saying is he got an update on Steam for Elden Ring. I mean, he didn't have any other choice but to update the game. And now he's being accused of inappropriate activity. This negative review is 100% warranted. I am not upset with this i'd be pissed off too especially because he's got 80 hours on record for them to accuse you of doing anything after you patch the game yo fix your fucking game bro fix your fucking game i'm looking at you redfall ladies and gentlemen dave is up
set. Big mad. He goes on to say, I'm sorry for leaving a negative review, but I feel like this game is going to be the first step in a long downward spiraling road for From Software. People are playing this up as a masterpiece from From Software when the issues are more glaring than when people were screeching about Dark Souls 2 faults. I don't want this to become the gold standard for From Software, pun intended. My complaints have nothing to do with the open world, and though I wish there was less carbon copy bosses, I think it was fine to reuse them every now and then to fill out the sheer size of the place. But the problem is, there's constant boss duos with miserable, I can't read, uh, <laughs> Please stop doing that. Godskin Duo, Magnum, and the Falling Star Beast particularly were just awful bosses that I love to even remember. Nye? Nye? The fuck is, you a knight, dude? For the fucking uh, ancient England and shit? Uh, Nye, undodgeable shockwaves that every large enemy constantly spams also really doesn't help. Long combos punctuated by boss delaying for 13 college semesters allowing you to write a dissertation and graduate this on a Magnum Kulade. The fuck is he talking about? <laughs> He said the boss just kept swinging. I could have graduated magnum cum laude out of university. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. This sound like a skill issue. I <laughs> Oh, I bumped my wrist. <laughs> it sounds like a skill issue. It sounds like there's a couple bosses that uh, waxed his ass, and this man left a novel. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That um, that that I think it was the Godskin duo. I think that I think it was towards the end of the game where you had to fight two bosses at once, and one would respawn if you don't kill the first one. That one was annoying, but like I felt satisfied after I beat it. So I don't know. It didn't bother me as much as what this man is talking. About. I could have gone with the medical lot of hell. I don't know about all that, my boy. Slow Pro goes on to say, Elden Ring, yeah. Not fun. And to that I say, I disagree. You know what in my opinion is not fun? When viewers don't take the time to check out today's sponsor. Holskern. Today's video is sponsored by Holskern. Holskern's a lifestyle brand hailing out of the beautiful country of Austria. They produce watches, jewelry, sunglasses, and more. Holskern specializes in producing high-end watches that utilize wood. The wood on their timepieces give their line of watches a unique and elegant look that's bound to turn heads the next time you're in the office or at an event. If you're looking for something different for the lady in your life, then you might want to check out their handbags. They have handbags made from wood and stone. Their superior materials and their outside-of-the-box designs will be sure to cause a conversation at the next bottomless mimosa night with the girls. So do me a favor and tap the link in the description box below to head on over to Holskin's website and cop something today. Just make sure to use code Hokage15 at checkout to receive 15% off of your next purchase. Burns Rooney goes on to say, my social life is slowly deteriorating. My family's worried about me. I haven't showered or eaten in days. My time is surely close. Now I'd call a cap on this review, but he has almost 400 hours on this game to date. And the crazy thing is, in the last two weeks he played the game. He's still playing the game. So uh, I feel like he was trying to be funny and like, but the reality is, is I, I think this is your reality, dude. This is a cry for help. If anybody knows Burns Rooney, help my man out, help him wash his ass, cause I'm not gonna do it. Dog, why is there a puddle in your seat? <laughs> Board Skull goes on to say, Overhyped game, movements are stuck in the 90s era of gaming, needs more dodging abilities, it's a hack and roll game. How the hell do you only have one movement for dodging? That's how Diablo would have been if it was an awful open world game. So I completely disagree with this one. The main thing that I disagree with was him saying the movements are stuck in the 90s era of game. This was definitely written by Gen Z because there's no way you played any games from the 90s. Have you played Virtual Fighter or like Tekken from the 90s? Which I know are fighting games, but like you used a broad term by saying 90s era of which 90s game are you talking about have you played virtual fighter or tekken when the player would jump and they would go all the way to the top of the damn map this game does not move like a 90s game it's much more fluid hell tomb raider was like that shit too fucking lara croft had them big ass heavy cubicle boobs but then she would float everywhere that she would jump so i'm trying to figure out what 90s movement system are you talking about because there's no game as fluid as elden ring in the 90s bro and that's because the 90s was a decade of of experimentation that's when 3d graphics first started to come into play so nobody really truly knew how to make a 3d game i mean even games like as much as i love super mario 64 if you go play that uh super mario 3d uh collection on the on the nintendo switch and play mario 64 on the switch there's certain aspects of that game that did not age well and mainly the camera so i'm trying to figure out what you're talking about when you say this game has a 90s era of movement i, I don't think you played any games in the 90s i think you were born in 1999 and you just talking rizza says or Ryza. I don't think that's Rizza from Wu-Tang. We do know Wu-Tang's for the kids, though. Anyways, uh, he says, this game is way too hard for me. I can't kill anything. I find myself running around trying to find something I can't kill, and I can't kill... Wait. I can't 
fucking read. I find myself running around trying to find something I can kill and I can't kill anything. If you're a casual gamer, stay away. And I'm gonna be honest, this is a very accurate review. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, in 2023, and I mean, this review dropped, I think, 2022. If you didn't know what you were who told you this game was easy it's like it's like picking up nba 2k and being upset that there's microtransactions and yet i do it every year so we're all hypocrites thank you for coming to my video <laughs> western union employee says this game is too hard there should be an easy mode just like on dark souls 2 when using and i think that's intelligence build int i only wanted to highlight this because i strive to be as petty as western union employee first of all he has 100 hours on this game so it's cap when he says he doesn't recommend it he likes the game he just wanted to be petty clearly this man has something against people uh in the dark souls 2 community who use an intelligence build and he wanted to use this platform to take a chance to remind everybody fuck you if you use an intelligence build i strive to be as petty as western union employee this western union employee definitely wired the message to you all get a fucking life intelligence players use like a sword like everybody else Ladies and gentlemen, I found the top troll in the Elden Ring reviews, and it comes from Crimson. He goes on to say, not enough things to do. I got bored super quick. Now, the problem with this review is, first of all, we all know that's Cap. This is an open world game. But this man has over 1,400 hours on the game. He has 11 hours in the last two weeks. He's still playing this game in 2023. So that's how I know this dude is a troll. But the funny part is, is that some people in the comments actually took him seriously. I need you guys to be able to read between the lines. Dan's barbecue. Put down the baby back wrist and pick up some critical thinking. This man's a troll, one of the biggest trolls that lives under a bridge, like Rumpelstiltskin. Shout out to Rumpelstiltskin. Yo, make, let me know in the comment section below. Like, y'all know who Rumpelstiltskin is? <laughs> who knows who Rumpelstiltskin is? That's a classic. Fuck y'all if y'all don't. True Believer says, for someone who's never played a Dark Souls game, it's annoying and frustrating. The game plops you in a world with no direction, what to do, and no information or tutorials on how to battle. Most of all, there is no story, so it's just dying to bosses until you figure them out. This is not my cup of tea. And I feel like this is somewhat of a value valid criticism for someone who's new to the series but then on the flip side you got the fact that this man has put over 300 hours into the game so I think he's just capping I feel like he probably wrote this review when the game first came out he was really frustrated but then maybe he watched a couple YouTube tutorials and he stuck it out because I'm pretty sure he's beaten this game at least once probably twice with 300 hours on the game so update your review true believer because we don't believe you I think this review is a little bit out of date cap, 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 cap. then planet he's our hero coming to save the world from global warming he was ahead of his time in the 80s man he was ahead of his time shout out to captain planet man love the earth and shit ladies and gentlemen i found another troll and his name is give up end it all and he says bad game get mad and the reason i know this dude is a troll and you should not take this seriously is because this man doesn't even have an hour on the game he literally and he refunded the game too he literally bought this game just to shit on it because he knew that it would probably piss some people off but then guess what he failed because it didn't really oh i take that i take that back it probably did piss some people off comments are disabled wow imagine imagine being a troll and then being sensitive to comments comments on steam about a game that you don't care why do y'all do this if you're gonna be a troll at least be a funny one at least be a funny one come on come on come on Aka goes on to say metacritic pro journalist score 95 percent steam user score 60 percent i hate journalists so much that it's just it's unreal it's dark souls 4 with the trapping of all the old an open world game i can't talk it's dark souls 4 with the trapping of an open world game big environments with repetitive architecture that require an amount to run through it effectively now i completely disagree with this first of all the horse you get that early on and you can summon it you can literally summon the horse at any time what the fuck are you talking about also so if you want to make the complaint that some of the bosses repeat I'll, I'll take that but repetitive architecture you didn't play the game very much or you didn't explore very because like Elden Ring is one of those games where like I've watched other people's playthroughs I'd be like how did you get there there'd be so much shit and so much different worlds and architecture in the game that I hadn't seen and like it's all unique looking I, I completely disagree with this but it, it seems like he's more butthurt about the journalist than the actual game he's just saying it's Dark Souls 4 in an open world yada 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 right listen it, it always amazes me how people use metacritic to try to push their agenda like whether it's negative or positive but everybody claims they don't take it seriously maybe the metacritic score is based off the playstation version maybe it's not based off of the steam version i don't know maybe it, it, i don't know what he's quoting on this but also maybe these journalists just like the game more than you like you clearly don't like the game that's fine but to sit here and be like i hate journalists because they like the game and and and, and i don't this is definitely one of those dudes who sits in the comment section of 
of every IGN video and says, oh, 7 out of 10, too much water, IGN. Oh. And I was like, it was funny for like the first year that that happened, but it's like, bro, get a life. Plus you have 88 hours on the game. You, you didn't hate it that damn much. I think you just hate gaming journalists because you can't be one, but I, there's nobody's opinion even the people that I respect the most in the world, I don't agree with all their opinions. And like this whole, I hate gaming journey, I get some of their gameplay is not the best, but seven out of 10, too much water. Shut the fuck up, bro. Bomb and Hangle says, yet another example of modern fascism, companies stealing money from hard working people. And then like, I love the comment because the comments are right there with me. Laugh my fucking ass off. This, this was my initial response. What the fuck does this, what does Elden Ring have to do with fascism? What does From Software have to do with Joseph Stalin? What the fuck are you talking about, bruh? This was, yo, does your shoulder hurt? Does your arm hurt? Because you are dowsome reaching. Y'all know what I'm talking about from Street Fighter? This man is dowsome reaching. Yoga Flame had a Ass. this man got nine nine hours on the game get the fuck out of here fascism just say you don't like the fucking game jesus christ y'all be y'all just be on the internet saying this is a, yet another one of these people seven out of ten too much water <laughs> you ever like read a text message from like a friend or a family member or just something online and like you could feel the energy through the text this is an example right here this comment it comes from this review it comes from orlo and he says not recommended best game i've ever played in my life he has over 400 hours on this game almost 500 this seems like a cry for help i can like feel the energy in this comment and like this man is going through something and he's taking it out on elden ring so if anybody knows orlo plus i know he's probably a little weird because he has a little anime titty girl as his uh profile picture those are always weird if anybody knows orlo reach out to him check up on him make sure he's okay because godskin duo is beating his ass just like all the other people that are complaining in the reviews that they can't beat that boss here's a review that i can use some clarification on and it comes from brady 20 rings and counting he says Bill Clinton should have won. Bill Clinton was president. He did win. He won two terms, actually. And he didn't have sexual relations with that woman. But uh, <laughs> is this a reference to something like a joke that I'm not understanding? Feel free to let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to guess maybe not because he has a troll icon. So I think he's just saying shit. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below. What the fuck is he talking about? Bill Clinton should have won. What does that have to do with anything? Did he mod Bill Clinton into the game? And he's got to fight like... <laughs> Like this man modded Bill Clinton into the game. His his avatar, he's playing as Bill Clinton, butt ass naked with a big samurai blade. And then uh, he's got to fight uh, Godric, but Godric's head has been modded to have like a piece of paper on it that just says allegations. So you as Bill Clinton got to beat the allegations. Y'all think y'all could win? Let me know. Let me know in the comment section. I'm having a blast reading all these bad reviews for good games, but the reality is, is that content creation is not always fun. A couple weeks ago, Dead Island 2 dropped and that game got uninstalled. And if you want to find Find out why, just click the card right there. I promise you, you're gonna get a good laugh in. Fucking click it. I'm desperate. I need more watch time. I need to increase the, the watch session time. Click the goddamn card. Bye.